Hello and welcome to your tutorial on how to create Nearpod presentations. So there's a couple ways to do this and I really don't suggest using Nearpod's creator. I'm going to show you it in a second. Um, but the reason why I don't suggest it is, you know, you're not used to using it. You, everyone watching this video has probably made a PowerPoint in their life or they use Keynote or, or they know Google Slides. And, and you know, you can still use those to make Nearpod presentations and I suggest using those because they're better tools to make them. Um, if you go to your Nearpod creator, you'll see that it's just, it's limited in what it can do. For example, if we wanted to make a new slide from scratch, we'd hit add slide, add content, um, and then you'd kind of be a little stuck. You can make a slide like this, and if you want to add an image, you can. But this is really boring. I mean, this is white text on black background, and as you can see, you know, there's no real editing tools. What if you want a different font? What if you want a different color? It's it's rough. So what I suggest doing is use a tool that you're used to. Um, I'm using Keynote right now, but what I'm about to show you, you can do on any one of the three tools here that you all are familiar with at least one of them. Um, and, and you can export these however you want. So I'm actually going to create the Nearpod presentation right now that we're using for today's workshop. Wow, that's pretty meta. Okay, here we go. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to first export the first part of the workshop, which is actually slides one through six. Now every um, presentation creator has like this export feature. Um, on PowerPoint, it's under the same place, file, export to. On Google Slides, I actually think it is under the same place, but it's pretty easy to find. And it's all you're looking to do is export pieces of the presentation as an image. So it's going to say, I'm going to do from 1 to 6, because I only want the first 6. And then we'll hit next. And it'll put it on the desktop. Yay. All right. That was easy. If you look on our desktop here, we have, I think it's this one. Pretty sure it's this. Yep, there it is. All right, so we need to go ahead and add that. So we'll go to Add Slide, Add Content. Actually, I'm going to go to Slideshow. I'm going to go ahead and drag that file that I just made. I think it's this. Oh, maybe it's this folder. Oh, look at these. I'm going to drag the images that it exported right into the window. And as you can see, it's now created the slideshow. And if I want to, I can quickly see that it's all there, which is nice. Okay. Now, I want this to be the first part of the presentation. So you can actually just take it, and you can drag it to where it needs to go, theoretically. Yep, there it goes. Cool. So you're going to drag it where it needs to go. All right, that's the first part. Let's see. These are the pieces, which we're actually not going to include in the Nearpod presentation. Now, this you can find in the full link to the whole presentation in Schoology later if you want to see these slides um, that we use for the other tutorials. Uh, however, I'm not going to load them onto the Nearpod because it'll just be a little frustrating. Um, but here's the next part. Uh, so how could student do? We're going to need to upload this stuff. We're going to export these. So these are 22 to 27. Export two images from 22 to 27. All right, and again, every uh, every tool will will have an ability to do this. Every uh, every content creation tool. So you can do this on PowerPoint. You can do this on Google Slides. It's really pretty nifty. Unfortunately, where did the slides go? <laughs> oh, maybe these are them. Are these the right ones? I think these are the right ones. Yeah, they are. Just over it. Cool. Okay, it's now loaded up. I'm just going to double check that everything got put in okay. Yep, those are the ones I want. And that's it. That's all you have to do. All right. 
Now, if you wanted to add an activity, you should watch the next video in the playlist, which goes over how to add formative assessment to your Nearpod presentations. Uh, it, is, it is all in that add activity. We were living in the add content area. There's more content you can add. You can add audio and all, all this stuff. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. They do a great job walking you through how to add, uh, add it in. And the nice thing about Nearpod's platform is what they say they can do, uh, it generally works the first time, which is, which is a refreshing uh, piece. So um, once you're done with your presentation, though, uh, you will want to be able to see it. And that's where this Publish button comes in. So if you hit Publish, you can't actually get students onto one of these until it's published. So you have to hit this button, and they'll say Publish. You can edit it later, which of course you can. You hit Yes. And then, and only then, can you broadcast the live session, which you're all in now. What do you know? All right, that does it for the How to Create a Nearpod presentation tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to learn how to add formative assessment into these, watch the next video. Bye.